Hi everybody. Okay, this video is going to be for sellers on Zazzle. So today I'm going to show you how to make a Valentine's Day card template. So we're going to make a personalized card for your customers to buy. Um, one where they can swap out pictures and change the text. So go to your Zazzle store and go to create your own and then click on greeting cards. And you can choose whatever size you want. If you want a 5 by 7 or the Zazzle has the big jumbo cards. You know, just find whatever card you want. I'm going to go with just the traditional 5 by 7 here. Okay, and then pick if you want pick if you want horizontal or vertical. Okay, and then click on add image. I'm just going to do a very basic card here today. So, um, first you're going to want to find, you might have some of your own you want to use, um, or you can go to a site called Pixabay to find a picture to use for this card of a couple. So, I already have some um, uploaded here, so I'm just going to find the picture I always use, which is this one. I love this picture. Um, I got it on Pixabay.com has pictures that are free for use. It's it's nice to like their picture, leave a comment. Um, you can pay them a buck or whatever, you know, to use their pictures. So anyway, that's where I get my pictures from. So anyway, here's um, a picture of a couple. And let me think, what do I want to do with this? Okay, so click on the picture. And then go down on the right hand side and click make this a template object. Click on that and then in the first line under product page label type in change image and nothing else. Don't change this. Just leave. add whatever you want. You could put front of card. You can put whatever you want for the title. I just put um, change image one. So make sure it's centered. You know put it wherever you want it. Now, I'm going to make this card, I think, black. Or should I just leave it white? Okay, so add text. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Okay, I put Happy Valentine's Day babe. <laughs> Couples all have their different um, things that they use, but we're going to make this a template anyway in a minute. So anyway, right now, first I'm going to show you over here, you can make it the text bigger or larger. Then we're going to scroll down again and again, make this a template object. And then we're going to put edit text. So that way the customer can edit it. Now see how wide that is? I'm going to go up here to line spacing. I'm going to shrink that down a little bit so it's not so... See what I mean? So that the words are a little bit more together. Made it a template already. So now that a customer that's buying this Valentine's Day card, they can add a person's name. They can change the text all together. They can change it to happy anniversary. They can put honey, a name, whatever. So now you got the picture and you got the name. So now you just got to do the background. You can fool around if you got like some little elements like hearts or whatever in your files. You can add whatever you want to add. I'm just going to make this card simple for the sake of the tutorial. As you can see, I'm fooling around with the elements over here. So once you think you got the card how you like it, you can click on this, you know, to take a look at it. I'm going to make sure this is centered properly. 
Okay, so I'm just going to leave it like this. You can add, like I said, you can add hearts, flowers, whatever it is that you want to add to make it, um, to make it how you like it. Okay, now layers. You can add something inside the card if you want. You can leave it blank. I'm going to put, I love you very much. You can add whatever you want in there. And again, you can make that a template too so that if the customer has a private, uh, so if the customer has a personal message they want to add, they can. So I think I'm going to add, I'm going to go back to the other side now and add a heart. just to make it cute. Okay, then on the back, I'm going to add my logo. And that's it. So then you just click on done. And then sell it. And then once you go to sell it, you're going to have to add the title. Click the category. Then put as many keywords as you think you need. You know, as many keywords as you think people will search for, like Valentine's Day card, personal, whatever. You know, just add in what you think, like describe your object and how you think people will find it. Then categories, I'm going to click holiday, Valentine's Day, so anyway we got holidays, a recipient, I'm just going to put for them a couple, and then I got to click what store you wanted in, if you have a lot of stores like me, time for the holidays. then add it into a category that you made. So Valentine's Day, and then tags. Again, add all the, the tags that you think people will search for. They say not to put personalized or customized. I'm not sure why, but. And you can use up to 10. Okay, rated G. There's your royalty. And then you have the right to post it. And that's it. Now your item is for sale once you hit that. So then go here so you can view your item again. Just give it a double look. Make sure you didn't spell anything wrong. You should actually do that before you hit sell it, of course. But um, once you got it done, make sure to click on all your social media things and share them on Pinterest and Twitter and Facebook. Get your product out there. Pinterest is by far the one that I um, that helps me the most. But anyway, that's it. I hope that helps. I hope you like it. Um, good luck with your Valentine's Day cards. Talk. Go ahead and write the name of your shop underneath in the comments if you want. Thank you. Bye. Happy Zazzling to you.